Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop, which is version 101, and this latest release started rolling out on the 28th of April 2022. Now, unfortunately, with this latest version, there's not too much to really write home about, so to speak. And it's quite thin on the ground when it comes to new features. And I think only really two of the new features will be of interest to your average home user, where the rest are geared towards your IT administrators. And over and above that, we get those all-important security updates which roll out in every version upgrade. Now, to see if you have the latest release, just head to your menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, and if the update hasn't applied itself automatically in the background, this process will force the update uh, uh, in your browser. And the latest release now is version 101.0.1210.32. Now, just to mention the first of the two features, which I think home users will find of interest, uh, there's going to be a uh, shortcut button appearing here in the toolbar in the top right of your browser. Uh, which you can enable through your appearance section in the um, settings menu and which is going to add a apps button which is going to be a quick shortcut button uh, which will give you quick access and a shortcut to your installed pwas and progressive web apps that you have installed in the edge browser and at this stage though microsoft says that the apps button and feature is uh, still on a controlled and staggered rollout so if you're like me and you aren't seeing the new feature then just be patient as i'm sure you will be getting it sooner than later but if you haven't seen it and you haven't it hasn't been made available um if we just head over to edge canary which is a preview version of the browser uh, this will give you a good idea what you can expect to see you will get your apps button you click on that it opens a drop down fly out menu then you get an option to search through your apps you can pin the menu to the uh, site panel in the browser. Then you get your three dotted menu with some other options. You can manage your apps, which takes you to the apps page where you can do everything to manage and is all about your apps. If we just head back to that uh, button, uh, if we head back to the menu, you can sort and filter your apps by recently used, name, install date. You can view them as grid, as you see now, or list. And then you can also hide apps button from toolbar and that's more or less what you can expect to see when that does roll out to your browser if you haven't received the feature already and then the next uh, feature worth mentioning is to do with your profiles now and um, if you have more than one profile now i only have one but if you have more than one profile there's also a new policy now called edge default profile enabled which will allow you to set a default profile rather than opening the last one that you used so in a nutshell what that means is that you'll now be able to set a default profile that launches uh, whenever you open the browser instead of the last profile that you used. And then just to mention those last three quickly, which as mentioned, I think will be more of interest to RT um, admins. Um, you now have an option where you can switch certificates um, on a website without um, closing the browser first. And then uh, the next one worth mentioning is regarding extensions there's also a new policy for allowing users to install extensions from other stores and as many of you know um, you can install extensions from the chrome web store as an example so that policy now allows you to install extensions from other stores and then the last um, uh, improvement and feature mainly for rt admins worth mentioning is you now have improvements to the enterprise site list manager where you can now configure shared cookies between Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer on your enterprise site list. And then over and above that, uh, we have some new policies uh, and we have mentioned some of those already. And we have one deprecated policy and we have uh, one obsoleted policy. And then as mentioned, um, we now have those all important uh, security updates that have also rolled out in version 101 and there are 25 in total and most of those uh, 23 of those are actually regarding and to do with the chromium platform which the edge browser is based on and out of those um, uh, 23 vulnerabilities in the chromium platform uh, seven of those are high risk vulnerabilities which is your second highest ranked uh, vulnerability and exploit after critical and most of those exploits are use after free so that's 23 security fixes for the uh, uh, chromium platform and then there are two specific to the browser so there are two edge specific security fixes as well the first is 
and ev- elevation of a privilege, vulnerability, which basically lets an attacker, gives an attacker authorization permissions beyond those initially granted to them. And then the next is a spoofing uh, vulnerability. And basically a spoofing attack is where a person or a program can basically identify itself as another program or person. So 25 uh, security fixes in total, 23 for the Chromium platform, and two of those are specific to the Edge browser itself. So that's more or less, guys, what's new in version 101 of the Edge browser for desktop with version 102 rolling out in approximately four weeks. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.